All right, join us now inside TBT, the head coach of High Point and the namesake of Tubby Time, Coach Tubby Smith. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. But Coach, I'm glad welcome to be, here to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I hear you, Coach. We agree. You're one of the uh, one of two, I believe, uh, coaches that are the names of teams in the tournament. Uh, what kind of honor is that uh, to, to have all these young men uh, represented under your name? Well, it, it's a matter of uh, it tells me that longevity has this <laughs> has this rewards you know, if you can just last. Yeah, and and we've had been fortunate enough to be around some some outstanding young men. I've had it's been a real privilege to to coach many of these young men that are that will be represented um, representing the Tubby Time team in this TBT tournament. tournament. So we're really honored that they would want to want to do that and uh, i got to give a lot of props to joe esposito who was my former assistant coach at minnesota texas tech memphis um, he's done an excellent job of uh, staying in touch with players over the years and and, um, and i'm grateful that they were willing to play it's pretty cool you know a lot of times these guys go and play overseas and it's tough because the games are on when you're sleeping or the games are on when you're recruiting or coaching your own games. How cool would it be for you to get to see some of your former guys like, you know, Trevor and Bakway back on ESPN, back on national TV? That'd be great. Yeah, they have, um, as we all know, in this business, well, I can't say business, but in this game of basketball, the, um, the competitiveness that the young people or people have, and I tell people all the time, you know, basketball is an easy game to play, but it's hard to master. So uh, to be able to have my name associated with, with these young men and with these players and, and be, as you mentioned, Jim Beheim, who has – didn't their team win it one time or have they been able to win this, champ, this tournament? They get all? close. They get close just about every year. They haven't gotten over the hump yet. <laughs> and then though. Ohio State wins it, right? Oh, yeah, Ohio yeah. State has won it. <laughs> oh, but um, but it'd be great to watch these young young people uh, to watch them. I'm seeing young men because they still are fairly young. <laughs> and most of them are still uh, playing overseas, as you mentioned, or playing in some type of uh, basketball. I, I'd like to be doing that myself right now. Playing. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. How much do you How much do you know about the TBT, Coach? Not much. You know, I, I've followed it in the past, but. I really haven't uh, – well, we've had players that we've coached against, a number of players we've coached against over the years. So it's always fun watching those uh, – watching guys play. So part of the TBT that everyone, you know, knows and loves is the Elam ending, which basically at the end of the game, it becomes a yes. pickup game. Yep. So my question for you – you know, you got guys like – I'll just give you three guys, three Minnesota guys, Devo Joseph, Trevor Mbakwe, Damian Johnson. Those three guys, you got one bucket left that you need. You're coaching the team. Who's getting the ball? Well, everybody, that's putting the coach on the spot. But obviously, Devo Joseph, um, even though we only coached him a couple of years, he's a young you – know, because he's a guard and he, he's going to have the ball in his hands. And let's face it, it's become a guard-oriented – basketball game a game so you know I could see him because he can make free throws he could he makes he made good decisions with the ball and without the ball can stroke it from from deep that's not to say that that Damian Johnson because he won a few games for us too I remember him winning beating Wisconsin with his outstanding play went in overtime and he he got the win for us just by his sheer determination and hard work and and he was noted more as a defensive stopper. So I would probably go more with an offensive-minded guy. And, like, and Trevor was more of a defensive-minded guy, shot blocker, rebounder. So I'd hope they'd get the second they, – they'd get the miss if DeVoe Joseph shot it. <laughs> Coach, one question that we like to ask all the coaches that come on to our show is pretty simple. It's what is your favorite play in basketball? What is my favorite play? Are you talking about a specific shot or? It's totally up to your interpretation. Well, I, you know, I always like the, um, the last second play, you know, 
watching the lob play that that the Phoenix Sun had, mm -hmm. uh, where the young man dunked it. That's that's probably the best play is uh, that play that wins the game or puts you in a position to win the game. Uh, and that's that's what you sort of live for as a as a player as a coach, you know, to be able to uh, not only draw up a play but have it executed to perfection so that you can win, whether it's a home run, length of the court play. And we've been on our end, we've been on each end of it where we've lost games that way and we've won games that way. So that's, I think that's the, the beauty of this game. If it's, if it's kept close and it's a tie game or you're down one, you're up one, those are the, those are the moments you live for. Coach, I'm going to put you back on the spot again here a little bit. And this is, kind of, this is going to be kind of like asking you to pick, pick your favorite kid. But of all your former players that are still out there playing, you're building the roster. You're like, this is one guy I need for a TBT championship. Who are you grabbing? Whew. Outside of NBA players or just any player? Any player that's available? That's up to you. Well, Anybody. All right. Whew, man, there's a lot of good players. We've had the good fortune to coach to win games for us. And, and I, I can't just pick out one. There, there's been there's just some of them right here on this list, like Todrick Gochin, Trevor Mbakway, and Paul Carter. Oh, just right on down the list, Damian Johns, DeVoe Joseph. But I've coached some some pretty good players over the years, like Tayshawn Prince, Rajon Rondo, Jody Meeks, just to name a few. Chuck Hayes, and they all had, they all did something great uh, at, at that moment, at a, at a point in time in their career to help us uh, be successful. So I'd, I'd run off a lot of different players that I've had the good fortune to, to coach, and, and some of them are on this team. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. This has been a blast. Uh, good luck with this upcoming season, and, and we know yeah, you'll be locked. Like question. Oh, I got you that. Hey, where where Andrew Grandy? <laughs> Is this Andrew? I thought of one more question that has well, to I be. I thought you did. <laughs> coach, next year, if the team is all your former players and they say, Coach, we need you to come and coach us, would you do it? I'd be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, yes. I'd love to be around those young men again. And certainly, the, the, you're talking about guys and that were the cream of the crop as far as talented and athletic and, and were hard workers and, you know, did what you told them to do and, uh, and re reached their, most of them reached their potential. All right. We'll see you on the sidelines next year then. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm going to try to be on the sidelines tomorrow. Thank you. Though. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Coach, thank you. Good luck this year. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good luck with the tournament, fellas. Thank, thank you very much. Bye-bye.